if you are the kind of person that as soon as he sees some red letters he goes down to Discord and asks for help, this tutorial is not for you. <coughs> However, if you would like to attempt to fix the node yourself, as opposed to wait one hour on Discord for the possible answer, this tutorial is for you. As you can see, my node is working, so it's syncing and I'm smashing. Now I'm gonna mess it up. And how I'm gonna do that? This seems to be one of the problems that we'll be having. I'm not gonna blame the node for this, I think this is a Windows problem. Then when the file is in use and you have a suddenly reboot, the file gets corrupted. So I'm gonna kill it. And how I'm gonna do that? Exactly this. And save. Done. Now I'm gonna close my node. And when I restart, I'm gonna have those tedious red letters. And there he is, the beautiful red letters. Okay, let's fix this. This is a tedious process, but uh, it works. And uh, this video is mainly about troubleshooting, not uh, just about that file, okay? Keep that in mind. First thing, shut down the node. So the first thing we're gonna do is copy from another node. Or if you don't have that, you can um, follow one of my videos to generate a new post method. Yeah. First thing, node ID. Of course, we need our own node ID. There's no point wasting time with this. We know the node ID, which is on the key bin. So copy the last 64 digits. And go to an X converter. Actually, it's the other way around. And that's my node ID. So select that, copy, and done. Committed ATX. I can't remember which one was it, so I'm gonna leave it like that at the moment. I do know the number of units, which was four. If you don't know, don't worry, we'll get there. So now save and I'm gonna start the node again. Just wait the node to give me error or if don't have error, goodness. Okay, so we now we found a problem. Time to check the logs. Open logs. I prefer to use Notepad++ for this. Scroll to the bottom. You see everything it's in line. So all this is node working. We just ignore this. It doesn't make any sense to us anyway. It doesn't matter. But now look at the text. It's all messed up. There's no point looking at these ones. We need to find the root of the problem. So everything looks okay in here. Then we start looking down. Fail to start. Okay, smear, fail to prepare. Max file, config mismatch. Expected two gigabytes, found zero. Okay, let's fix this. Close node and let's edit the file here. So this is what was missing. Okay, need a pass here. Uh, so we got that one fixed. Let's go to the next one. Open node again. Wait for syncing and let's see what happens. Okay, so we find another 
problem. Let's close node again. Let's reload my logs. Again, same process. Scroll to the bottom. Try to find the root of the problem. Fail to prepare. Load metadata. Invalid character. So I got some problems here. Uh, ah, that one. <laughs> and here we go again. Start the note. Okay, it seems that I already fixed this. Everything seems to be working and we're good. Basically, this is it. You read the logs and you just keep on doing it until you fix the problem. Most of the times the node will tell you exactly what the problem is. Just you see they all look the same, the lines. This is the ones you don't need. You just ignore all this. This means nothing to us. This is just the node working. But at some point you start finding these fails here and this is where you look for errors especially these ones so fail to prepare low meta invalid carrot like that's the one which is fixed and it goes the same for ATX uh, node ID uh, unit size or things like that the node will pretty much tell you what the problem is of course there are things that not even me or other guys know what the problem is and last resort we go to discord and ask the devs or anybody with more knowledge to help us congratulations now you know how to troubleshoot your note hope this is helpful guys and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and put a like on my video